my name is Samantha Thielen, and I'm a freshman from Gretna High School. And this is my piece called No Longer Sugarcoated. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe it's the hundreds of flaws that coat my skin and seep into my bones, constructing me into the person that I am. Maybe I'm the problem. Perhaps a mirror speaks true, and if I would finally peel my corpse from my bed and make the trip to the gym, lift a couple weights and run a couple miles, I could have a body boy drool over and desirable curves for their hands to trace. Maybe I'm the problem. At least I can see my mother smile and not a headstone, though laughter from her lips is about as often as an eclipse, and it seems the moment her feet cross the doorway into our house, the energy is seeped from her bones, except for when her hand must bring the flavored air to her lips to taint her lungs or to press the pretty spin button for more makeup because she can't stand the face that gifted half my own. Perhaps that's why I can't stand my own. Maybe I'm the problem for the constant fear of being a burden because despite the tears streaming down rivers and the overwhelming urge to break skin with metal, the single thought of interrupting someone else's more important life with me for a problem that is my own and myself forces my thumb to hold down the delete button and shove my useless form of communication away. Maybe I'm the problem, that his chocolate eyes don't look my way and he continues down the long hallway. Why settle for me when perfection can be through the next doorway? When my mouth can get too snappy, my heart too sappy. Maybe I'm the problem, someone who wants mommy and daddy issues to sprout from their cracks because I've never had fists against my skin or hunger set on my stomach or parents who look the other way. I've never been neglected or thrown to the streets, but I live with these two people who can be like strangers and the days will feel like the sun has graced us with their light and bathe us in our warmth and happiness. The clouds will cover her up, leaving me begging for a minute of her time shattered hope when it's cut short. Maybe I am the problem. How silly of me to think I have rights when I haven't earned them. How silly of me to think I have a voice when young that have a say when inexperienced. How silly of me to think of this house at home when I'm a mere guest within these four walls. How silly of me to not like your angry hand grabbing my arm when afraid of your fist will break my skin. How silly of my feelings when they're simply facts though your words leave bleeding wounds, father. Maybe I am the problem. When my sharp words can leave scars while my short fuse can ignite a bomb while my mouth spews pathetic jokes to sit on my insecurities to squash them to the deepest part of my soul when my obnoxiously loud laugh and annoyingly mature brain and two smart bolts screwed into my head screwed me over maybe the problem is me when this overwhelming need to be like everyone else has slowly stripped me of the person buried within leaving a hunk of meat assembled by unforgiving expectations lost in a maze of crumbling foundations or maybe, just maybe, the problem isn't me. Maybe, despite it all, I'm tired of things being avoided, of things being communicated but not acted on, tired of things being bottled up because I'm too afraid of how you'll react, tired of having to be different people for you to like me, tired of my feelings not being good enough for you. So these flaws won't define who I am. They don't define who I am because underneath it all is a future woman who knows better. And from here on out, I live for her. Thank you. Yeah.